next question is the structure of the compound which exhibited the following spectral data here they have given the data and there are four options means they have given the four structures you have to find out the correct structure for this given data these are the four structures when you look at the data by mass we cannot distinguish the, the structures because the m by z for the molecular n peak is same that is 120 and as per the uh, data given in the nmr proton nmr there are two signals the spectrum is having two signals it means that there are only two different types of protons are there means this type of proton is chemical equivalent and this type of uh, protons are chemically equivalent means only two types of protons are there when you look at the structure one here this is having different so this is the, the half can divide it by like this so this gives you one type of proton these two are same it is going to give two second type of signals and this is another type of proton or the hydrogen hence it, it gives the third uh, signal and the, here you have hydrogen this is also going to give the signals means there are four different types of hydrogens are there means all these hydrogens are chemically non-equivalent hence it is going to give the four signals but in the data there are two signals here this is different this is also different this is also different and this one is also different this is one this is two this is three this is four and five and this is six totally there are in this second structure you can find six signals here in the third structure cs3 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 these all cs3s are same these all the cs3 hydrogens are chemically equivalent because these are having same chemical environment hence these are going to give only one signal all these hydrogens are going to give one only one signal and these other hydrogens this ch ch hydrogens these all these hydrogens are also chemically equivalent hence these are going to give the signal that is second signal means for the c compound you are going to give, uh, you are going to get only two signals and check the splitting this cs3 is having is attached to this carbon this carbon is not having any hydrogens hence according to n plus one rule it will be zero plus one that is one one is a singlet so this 9h 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 and this is a 9h singlet means nine hydrogens are chemically equivalent they are going to give the single signal and the splitting pattern is singlet because the adjacent carbon is not having any hydrogens hence it is singlet this hydrogen these all are three hydrogens and this carbon is attached to this carbon term this carbon is not having any hydrogens hence the adjacent carbon is not having any hydrogens and according to uh, n plus 1 rule it is also equal to 0 plus 1 that is 1 1 is singlet again it will be singlet see the given data here they have given 2.26 singlet it is 6.79 singlet hence the ch3 ch3 delta value will be 2.26 and the hydrogens of this benzene ring our delta value will be at 7.6.79 uh, hence the option c is the correct one uh, let's check for the option d this this is having different environment this is also having different environment these are also having different environment these two having same environment and these two are, are having same environment hence 1 2 3 4 and 5 for this compound you are going to get 5 signals but here you are going to go to only say two signals and both the signals are the splitting patterns in both the signals is singlet hence option c is correct and uh, check for uh, this uh, ir data 3069 is uh, sp2ch and 2907 is sp3ch and 1608 and 1473 are uh, uh, aromatic c double bond c vibrations 
Next question is an organic compound with molecular formula C7H7 NO3 exhibited the following spectral data. What is the structure of the compound? Here they are given the spec um, uh, data. You have to find out the structure in the given options. According to NMR, there are three signals possible and they are given 3.9 singlet as 3H, 6.8 doublet 2H, 8.1 doublet 2H. Here one signal, second signal, these two are having same environment, these two are also having same environment. Hence, you can find three signals here, but the, the singlet 3H means this is also have shows the singlet 3h but the value is not correct because there is a cs3 it is no uh, the delta value of this cs3 is lower than 3.9 it is lower than it is around 2.1 hence this is not the correct one and uh, check for second one here you can find the first signal these two are having same environment these two hydrogens are having same environment hence you can get third one two three three signals cs3 methoxy protons are always resonate around 3.9 means delta value of the methoxy protons always near to 3.8 and 3.9 and it is singlet because there is no any hydrogens attached to next carbon terms and there are three hydrogens and these hydrogens are having same uh, chemical environment and these two going to give the single signal these two are attached the these two are next to this uh, carbon attached with methoxy hence the electronic density is more here these will resonate at 6.8 as a doublet and it is 2h these two hydrogens are having same environment but these are attached to nitro group uh, the nitro group is electron withdrawing hence delta value will be 8.1 and it is doublet it is uh, splitting pattern is doublet and the number of hydrogens are 2h hence option b is correct in the option c you are going to get 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 p 5 signals here you are going to 1 2 one two three four here we are going to four signals hence option b is correct this is the correct structure for the given data next question is match the following spectroscopic techniques with the regions in the electromagnetic spectrum here they have given the techniques spectroscopic techniques in column a and in the b in the next column they have given the regions of electromagnetic radiation so you have to match with the respect to techniques with the regions as you know uh, vibrational as this type of example we have discussed in the earlier question paper vibrational spectroscopy is ir region gives you the vibrational spectroscopy uv visible gives you the electronic spectroscopy gamma rays gives the mass bar spectroscopy and radio frequency gives you the nmr spectroscopy hence a is for vibrational ir vibrational electronic spectroscopy is b is one electronic spectroscopy is ultra uv visible mass bore gamma rays give you the mass bore and nmr radio frequency gives you the nmr spectroscopy hence d is three four one two three option a is correct next question is among the singlet doublet and triplet electronic states Postpersons involves transition between singlet singlet doublet doublet singlet triplet 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 here this is ground state ground state to high exited state going to give the abs after absorption electron moves from ground state to exited state after emission they come back to the ground state and this is inter-system crossing this is triplet state higher exited state to triplet state that is inter-system crossing and this is triplet state triplet state state to ground state that is single state is a phosphorescence hence the transition is in between singlet and triplet the, uh, hence option c is correct phosphorescence involves the transition between singlet and triplet states next question is the number of 
नॉर्मल मोड्स ऑफ वाइब्रेशन ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल्स सी वो टू एस टू वो एंड एसिटेलिन नंबर ऑफ मोड्स मीन्स हाउ मेनी बैंड्स विल ऑब्जर्व फॉर द गिवन मॉलिक्यूल्स देर इज अ फॉर्मूला टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ मोड्स ऑफ वाइब्रेशन ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल्स देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स वन इज लीनियर एंड नॉन लीनियर मॉलिक्यूल्स द इक्वेशन इज फॉर लीनियर मॉलिक्यूल फॉर For linear molecule, the formula for the formula to calculate the number of modes of vibrations is three n minus five u. And for non-linear molecule, non-linear molecule, it is three n minus six. So these these are the equations to calculate the number of modes of vibrations. In the first example is CO two, CO two, CO two is linear molecule. This is the structure of CO two. CO two is a linear molecule, hence number of modes of vibrations for this CO two is three n minus five u. Here n is number of atoms. Here we have one, two, three, three atoms minus five u. It will be nine minus five u equal to four. So total number of modes of vibrations for CO two molecule is four. Next molecule is H two O. This is the structure of H two O. It is a bent structure. It is non-linear. Hence, the formula will be three n minus six, three into three because three atoms are there. Minus six, nine minus six. It will be three. Hence, there are three modes of vibrations are for H two O molecule. And next one is acetylene. This is the structure of acetylene. And it is also linear. Again, three n minus five u. Three into number of atoms are four minus five u. Twelve minus five u equal to seven. Hence, for acetylene, number of modes of vibrations are seven. Uh, so, the, in the question, number of modes of vibrations are four for CO two, three for H two O because it is non-linear, and seven for acetylene that is. linear molecule hence option b is correct 437 next question is the pmr and cmr spectra of the analyte give four absorptions each which among the following compounds is the analyte here you have to find the structure of the compound among the four options which gives the poor signals in proton nmr as well as in c13 nmr Here, can this is symmetric. This half is exactly same as this half. This is also symmetric. This is also symmetric. This is also symmetric. See this, this both are same chemical. These hydrogens going to give one signal. This is second. This is third, and this is fourth. Four. Four uh, proton and number signals, and carbon are one, two, three, and four. So four pro PMR and four CMR. Here, this is here we have one proton. This is going to give one signal. These two are same, and it is going to second signal. There is a proton. This is going to give the third signal. Here also one proton. This is going to give the fourth one. Here also proton. This is going to give the fifth signal. This proton is different. These are same. Hence, it is going to give second. This proton and this proton are same. Hence, it is third signal. This proton and this proton hydrogens are same. Hence, it is fourth signal. These hydrogens are same. Hence, it is fifth signal. And carbon, carbon one, two, three, four, five, five PMR and five CMR. Here both are same. One. these two are same and all these hydrogens are same all these hydrogens are same hence it is third signal in the pmr it is 3 and in cmr this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 three pmr and three cmr here it is these hydrogens is 1 and this is 2 This is three and this is four. This is one, two, three, four, five. 
फोर एंड फाइव सी थर्टीन इट इज फाइव सिग्नल एंड फॉर प्रोटॉन एंड एम आर इट इज वन टू थ्री एंड फोर सिग्नल्स हैंड्स दे हैव आस्क दी फोर ऑब्सॉर्शन ईच इन पी एम आर एंड सी एम आर हैंड्स ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट दिस कंपाउंड शोज फोर सिग्नल्स इन प्रोटॉन एन एम आर एंड फोर सिग्नल्स इन सी थर्टीन एन एम आर एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन द मास स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ सी एच सी एच सी एल थ्री मीन्स इज क्लोरोफॉर्म द रेशो ऑफ द पिक्स एट एम बजट वन एटीन वन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू एंड वन ट्वेंटी फोर इज वन एटीन मीन्स एम प्लस पिक एम प्लस टू These are isotopic peaks. These are uh, because of the presence of isotopes of chlorine. When we have one chlorine, the as we have discussed, the chlorine abundance of chlorine is thirty five and thirty seven chlorine. There are two isotopes. Abundance is three is to one. When you have one chlorine, the ratio of m plus and m plus two peak is three is to one. When you have two, it is nine is to six is to one. When you have three, it will be twenty-seven, twenty-seven, nine is to one, or it will be nine, nine, one, one by nine. Both are same, or it is both are same. Hence, option B is correct. The ratio of m m plus two, m plus four, and m plus six peak will be twenty-seven is to twenty-seven is to nine is to one. This is question two. Question from next question paper. In the mass spectrum of the dichlorobenzene, the ratio of the peaks at peaks of m by z, one forty six, one forty eight, and one fifty is. Dichlorobenzene means there are two chlorine atoms. When you have two chlorine atoms, the ratio will be nine is to six is to one for m plus one. Sorry, m plus m plus two and m plus four peak. So one forty six, one forty eight, and one fifty. Hence, the ratio of these peaks is nine is to six is to one. This is the answer.